In this video, we are comparing Apple Passwords and LastPass, two popular password managers. So if you're trying to decide which one's best for you, you are in the right place. We'll cover security, features, compatibility, and more. Now let's get started. So first, let's talk about security. Both Apple Passwords and LastPass uses EES-256 bit encryption to protect your data. So this is the same encryption used by banks and governments. So Apple Passwords uses secure or Apple Password secures your data with Face ID, Touch ID, or your device's passcode. And LastPass uses a master password and offers additional security with two-factor authentication or the 2FA and options like Google Authenticator. So both services use a zero-knowledge policy, meaning neither Apple nor LastPass can access your passwords. So it's a tie. Both provide strong security, but LastPass offers more of the two-factor authentication option. Now for the platform compatibility, here's where the differences show up. Apple Passwords work seamlessly on iPhones, iPads, and Macs, but that's it. If you use a Windows PC or Android phone, you are out of luck. On the other hand, LastPass works on iOS, Mac OS, Windows, Androids, and Linux even. It also has browser extensions for Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Safari. So LastPass takes this one for its cross-platform compatibility. Now, when it comes to the ease of use, Apple Passwords is built in right into your device. So you just need to search it in your app library. For example, Apple Passwords or Passwords then you should be able to see that automatically from your app library and you are good to go. No downloads or set updated. And for the last pass, setting it up is also pretty straightforward, but it requires you to download the app or the browser extension depending on what devices you are using. So setting up next is the master password. So you need to set up a ma master password and you need then to learn a few extra features for it. So for winner of ease of use, Apple Passwords is the winner for it for its simple built-in approach. Now for side-by-side -side comparison of the features of both tools. So both of them offer core features like the autofill to quickly log into your websites or apps, just like so right here. And then it also they also offer password generation to create strong passwords whenever you create a new accounts for a different apps or website. But LastPass goes a step further. This tool has additional features like secure notes to store sensitive information beyond passwords. For example, contact information, payment card, bank account, driver's license, and so on. So you can see here from the options. It also has password sharing. You can share logins with friends or family securely and also has security dashboard. So we can see alerts for weak, reused, or compromised passwords. And for emergency access, you can allow a trusted person to access your account in emergencies. So for this one, LastPass is the winner for its advanced features and versatility. Additionally, both tools sync your passwords across different devices, but with a difference. Apple Passwords sync seamlessly through iCloud Keychain. This is great if you only use Apple products. And LastPass syncs across all of your devices, no matter the platform. So for this one, the LastPass is also the winner for its broader syncing capabilities. And now let's talk about the price. Apple Passwords is completely free for Apple users and LastPass offers a free tier. But if you want you syncing your passwords across all of your devices, you'll need the premium plan which costs about $3 per month. They also have a family plan for $4 per month for up to 6 users. So if you want a free or if you want free and you are in the Apple ecosystem, Apple Passwords is the way to go. Now, which one is the right one for you? So choose Apple Passwords if you only use Apple devices. You want a simple, free, built-in solution for password management. 
and choose LastPass if you use multiple platforms like Windows, Android, and Apple. And you need advanced features like password sharing, secure nodes, and as well as the emergency access. So that is all for this video. I hope this comparison helped you decide. If you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.